All right, thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. Uh, another edition of the Fastlane Podcast for Success. And I am your host, Derek Lane. Welcome all. Thank you for joining me on this week's podcast. Okay, so, you know, as always, we're going to talk about just little things that make a difference in our lives, little things that add up to hopefully mean a big thing. What is it that you want? What is it that you really want? Do you really want just tons of money? I know everybody's going, yes, yes, tons of money. But think about it. I mean, what is it that money is going to do? Money is just that. It's just money. Is it going to buy you things? Well, yeah. Is it going to keep you from experiencing pain of not having money? Well, yes, if you have money. Is it going to change you? Potentially, yes. Is that what you want? You want to be changed? Maybe, maybe not. There's the old saying that, you know, fake it till you make it. Act as if. Que quiera sera. So, we have to discover what it is that we really want. And set about to obtain those things. If it's that, well, I want money so I can travel. Well, what you really want to do is travel. Well, I want money to live in a bigger house. What you really want is a bigger house. I want money so I can impress my friends. Well... There's a lot going on with that statement. Um, But my point is, you really need to understand what it is that you want. Money is just a vehicle in everyone's mind to obtain the things that you want. There's a lot of people that are extremely happy that are not rich. There are a lot of people that are rich that are extremely miserable. So I would tell you that you need to concentrate on what it is that you want. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, business owner, that's great. Discover what it is that you're going to do, make, sell, be a part of it. But it comes from within. It comes from change. If you've been trudging along in bland mediocrity, doing the same thing, hoping for a different result. And I know I hate that cliche. I really do. I hate it. I hate the definition of insanity. I don't care. Um, but the point is that if you are doing the same thing over and over, you're not going to see a different result. You need to tweak things. I have told you this before. Tweak things, adjust things, adopt a new mindset, a different mentality. The people in your lives, if they're important to you, you owe it to those people to refresh, to be a little more engaging, a little more entertaining in your personality. A little more spry in your thinking. That's who people want to be around. People are dying for knowledge. They have an insatiable thirst for knowledge. And experience. Allow people, share with people your experience and your knowledge. Now don't go around force feeding and, you know, let me tell you this. That people don't want to be told anything, but they are willing to listen when the time is right. They will appreciate learning from someone with experience. When the time is right, share. Share your thoughts, your creativity with the right people. Make sure that you are associating with the right people. 
positive minded people, people with optimistic views, people that dare to dream, people that are even, aren't even afraid to fail, people that just want to just live life. Think about it. what have you done for the past 10 years? What exciting thing have you done? And if you've done stuff, great, continue to do it. But if you haven't, think about it. The past five years, past two years, past year. And don't hand me that crap about, well, it's shut down, the world's in a pandemic. The world can be in a pandemic. That doesn't mean you have to stop thinking, stop growing as a person, your spirituality. You don't have to stop learning. The tools are out there for you. The mentors are ready to teach. The students are ready to learn from you. You owe it not just to the world, not just to your community, not just to your family, you owe it to you, you owe it to you, what's exciting, exciting is, is finding new and awesome adventures, whether it's in math or science, history, creating woodwork, creating music, creating paintings. Excitement in life is living life. Not allowing life to pass by with you on the sidelines, watching everybody else, living vicariously through people in their television shows and movies. People in your workplace, they can't wait to tell you the cool things they did this past weekend or last night. You be that person. You be the person that is enjoying life, that is learning life. You be the person that dares to get out of your comfort zone that dares to try something new and different. Success or failure, you tried. Tried again and again and again. Tweak it, adjust it, make it yours. Own it. The problem with a lot of people is they refuse to own anything. They refuse to own their own personality. Well, that's not really me. Well, yeah, it is. I've known you for 10 years, and that's you. If someone points out your habits, your idiosyncrasies, that is a routine. That's... That's a mentality. That's the way that you think. That's the way you process thinking. You, you've got to change it up. Laugh at yourself. Have fun. Wear a smile. I'll tell you that no matter what, no, no matter what kind of bad news that I get or someone's told me something that I disagree with, I dislike, and then I get a phone call. I don't know this number. Could be a potential speaking engagement, a, a business opportunity. I don't know. But even in my worst moods, even when I'm not really feeling it, When I answer that phone, I got a smile on my face. No matter if I'm in the most rotten mood, I got a smile on my face. I don't answer the phone. 
Yeah, what do you want? Oh, for criminy. No. No matter what mood you're in, answer the phone and answer it with just zest and just, Hello. How are you? Thank you for calling me. Wrong number? That's okay. You're trying to sell timeshares? Not interested. Maybe you are, I don't know. Point is, you need to own who you are. And who you are needs to be a positive person. Someone that can not allow the junk that goes on in our society. The junk that gets thrown at you in life to dictate your mood, to dictate your emotions, to dictate negative crap that's being thrown at you, you can deflect it with a positive attitude. Take the worst scenario. It doesn't matter. Deflect it. Be positive. Adjust, tweak, adapt, learn, okay? So, I guess, you know, I've gone over and over and this. Okay, I think the message of this podcast has been set. The tone has been set, and that's fine. That's great. But you have to practice it. You have to do it. You have to own it. Are you writing things down? Are you writing things down in your life? If you're not... You're missing it. Write down what you want. We've talked about the goal list. I think it's time for another podcast to go over goals. I'm not going to do that tonight. But the, the premise is I have, I own, I am measured by when, by who, by what. I earn X amount of dollars. Money is my friend. You know, I started this podcast out by suggesting that money is not really what you want. It's the things that money can get you. But you still want money. And I, it, money's not a dirty word. It's not for me. I'll take it. You know, if I scratch a lottery ticket and win $5 million, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it, and I'll even share it. I'll even donate to some charities, which you should be doing anyway, no matter what you got. But if that's what you want, if that's going to provide you happiness, you need to write down how it is you're going to get it. What it is you're going to do. And then you need to review it. Once a week. You know, some people review them daily. It's okay. Once a week, once a month. Whatever works for you. Allow your subconscious to go to work for you. It's easy. Allow your subconscious to draw things into your life. Because you've commanded it. you put it on paper. You've commanded it what you deserve in life because you put it on paper. You've written all of the goals down in your own handwriting. It's powerful. It's powerful. You are powerful. You just don't know how powerful you are until you start seeing things manifest. And then you start to think, wow, it's crazy. Don't pass things off as lucky. You manifest in your life. Okay, we're going to end this podcast 